Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We'll be checking in with my partner Andrew Tulls in just a few minutes. Now we can't stress enough the importance of keeping Del Marva's waterways clean. And one event we attended recently drew some hardy individuals who spent the morning celebrating our healthy rivers. It takes less than a minute for Chopper 16 to fly over the Chop Tank River. But for 230 or so folks gathered at Sailwinds Park during a recent Saturday afternoon, it's going to take a little longer because they're going to cross the river by swimming it. We're here at the 2019 Maryland Freedom Swim. This is a, a swim where swimmers are going to cross the Chop Tank River um, between the two fishing pier bridges and the, and the Route 50 bridge. Uh, it's a 1.7 mile swim across the whole river there. The swim starts over on the Talbot County side, um, right over at the beach next to T.L. Morris, and then we swim under the, the Route 50 bridge and cross the river right there between the two bridges, and then we pop back out and we finish right here at Sailwinds Beach uh, in Cambridge. The swimmers board shuttle buses that'll take them to the Talbot County side of the chop tank. The beneficiaries of this are, are Shore Rivers, which is a river protection group who prom promotes clean, clean rivers here on the Eastern Shore, and also the Dorchester Y. Um, but this came about with um, you know, a couple of avid swimmers like myself in the local area who thought it would be a great idea to swim across the river and uh, do it between the bridges. So we wanted to invite the whole community to come out here for it. And as the 9 a.m. start time approaches, people are getting excited. So I wanted to do it last year and it was canceled, so I'm very excited for this year. I've been wanting to do this for years. I just want to get it in and get done. Absolutely looking forward to it. Last year we were so disappointed it didn't happen because of the bacteria. Does it look a little intimidating or can you handle it? Uh, can handle it. Absolutely. Ready to go. Have you ever swum a distance like this before? Yes. In fact, two weeks ago I swam it in the pool just to make sure I could. The water temp for today's swim is in the low 60s. So while some of the swimmers get acclimated to the conditions, we wanted to know what advice folks have for swimming this one and a half mile open water challenge. Relax, uh, be confident in your stroke, and never think about the end, just think how much you're progressing. Positive, be positive. Be in the moment. You can't think about the end, you can't think about how far it is. You need to think about right now and how cool it is to be in the middle of the river swimming along. It could take a while. It could take anywhere between, I think, uh, 45 minutes for the really fast people uh, and then somewhere maybe closer to two hours for some of the other folks. You know, for the most part, we want to make sure that everyone stays clear within the, the in the swim course and doesn't drift um, with the tides anywhere. Uh, make sure all of our safety teams stay, stay safe and making sure everybody that gets in the water comes out of the water at the end, too. We found that the famous Bill Burton Fishing Pier makes a great place for spectators and well-wishers alike to monitor the swim's progress. Last year, it was an unfortunate event. Um, we had 10 inches of rain fall before the swim event, and, and as a result, the bacteria levels were so high in the river that it was not safe for swimmers to get in the water. So we had to cancel last year's event um, in consideration of the safety of the swimmers. And so, you know, we're really excited to be able to bring this back this year and have clean water to be able to swim in, a nice day, and a beautiful swim ahead of us. The first swimmers are out of the water in just over 38 minutes. I was with another guy who came in seven seconds after me. Uh, we were racing the whole time. So. It was a bit choppy that, like, wind in the middle. That got really choppy. In the beginning, it was okay. It's cold, but wetsuit helps. And for the rest, it's a chance to look back and reflect on what they just accomplished. It was perfect temperature. Not too, it can't be too hot because you're swimming so hard. Good. It's a great day for a swim.
around the end it got really wavy, but it was pretty calm most of the way. You gotta make sure you breathe to the side, make sure the waves don't <laughs> like hit you so you don't choke on that water. But perhaps the biggest takeaway from today is the necessity of keeping Delmarva's waterways pollution free. It's so beautiful to have all these people out here enjoying our waterways on the eastern shore, enjoying the Chop Tank River. Just the simplest thing you do on your own property can make a huge difference. You know, reducing what you put down on your lawns so it doesn't end up in our river here so we can make sure that all these people here can continue to enjoy and recreate on our, on our waterways. Get outdoors, Delmarva.